Welcome to Star Academy and I'm Kesir Zaman. Today we are learning about lesson plane for digestive system. Lesson planes are very important in teaching. These are considered as backbone of your lecture. So a better lesson plane will enable you to deliver your lecture in a better way. So subscribe to this channel for more videos. Here is human digestive system with all parts labeled. So always the first thing is instructional objectives. These are some objectives that you want to achieve. It means what your students will learn during this topic. And at the end, you have to evaluate these things that whether you are successful in achieving your objectives or not. Then we have some AV aids, audio visual aids. These include marker, textbook, whiteboard, duster, picture, model, charts, etc. And here is, we have teaching method and strategies. That what methods and strategies will you use during your lecture. So I selected for this as a lecture method plus demonstration method and grouping. You can choose other as well. The first thing is steps that your activities, the like introduction, First, to introduce your topic, matter and method, and whiteboard summary. So, frequently use whiteboard during the, your lecture. Here is a whiteboard summary. First thing is introduction. Introduce your topic with the help of some questions. The questions must be simple and easy to answer and related to your topic. You can write the answer of these questions on whiteboard. Then announce your topic in light of the questions you asked and write the topic on whiteboard. Then here come the presentation and presentation include the definition of your topic. So you can define your topic which is mentioned on the whiteboard. Define your topic and then proceed forward. Then here comes some major parts of the digestive system. You can name these parts and then write these parts on whiteboard. After this, here come another activity or another step which is drawing the diagram on whiteboard like that. You can draw a diagram on whiteboard and for understanding of students, you can color these parts. If it is easy, you can color. Otherwise, a diagram without color is also okay. So, draw a diagram and label its various parts. Then here come an activity. After drawing the diagram, ask your students to name different parts and give them models so they can identify different parts of digestive system by using these models. Then here come explanation of major parts. So explain these major parts one by one to your students. You can use the textbook and charts for this purpose. First is mouth or buccal cavity. So obviously you can use a student to demonstration like mouth and teeth of the student. Then you come the esophagus. So stomach, small intestine and other parts. So you should explain all parts one by one to your students. Then at the end, here is the homework or task for the students and departure. At last, self-reflection, which is your own activity, ask some questions to yourself about your lecture and answer these questions. 
here are some questions is simple you can ask some more questions and there is at the end we have another question that uh, if you have any problem you face so you can mention it otherwise it's okay thanks for watching this video and please subscribe to our channel goodbye